1997 Chevy Blazer with a hesitation problem. This came from another garage before we started looking at it. Uh, fuel pump, new fuel pump was installed, new mass airflow was installed, uh, distributor cap, plugs, wires, rotor, and uh, still has the problem. So we're looking at it and what I did, instead of showing the test drive, we just took it for a test drive, did a wide open throttle run, and I've shown you guys this with dirty mass airflows and, and how we use the O2 at wide open throttle to see what kind of uh, condition we have, whether it, we're getting enough fuel or not. And what we found is our hesitation problem on this vehicle was in fact a lean condition. If you look at both the O2s, you will see that during the test drive, as we're accelerating, as noted by the mass airflow grams per second increase and the throttle position sensor at wide open, both upstream O2 sensors are lean the entire time that we are at wide open throttle. Concerns for that would be primarily dirty mass airflow, secondary would be fuel pressure. Both of those parts were replaced. If you look at the mass airflow peak reading, you see 150 grams per second. That should be good. I'm not thinking the mass airflow is going to be a problem. So we're going to go after fuel pressure and see what our fuel pressure looks like. All right, we're doing a fuel pressure check on this 97 Blazer. Got a gauge connected. Nice that GM gives us a Schrader valve. On the back of that air cleaner housing, there's a Schrader. So got the gauge connected. We're going to do a snap throttle test. It's not good enough to check static fuel pressure ever. You always want to check it under a load situation. Right now at idle we have about 54 PSI, which is pretty good. The key with this test is when you snap it, you want to make sure that it doesn't drop off on a snap. So we see pressure rise. It should not drop when I snap this. Saw a pressure increase. It was okay that it dropped lower on a D cell, but during the X cell, you want to make sure that it rises. We've got about 61 PSI. I'd like that to be a little bit higher, I think, but 54 at idle, 61 PSI, wide open throttle. It didn't drop on a snap. Our lean condition does not look like a fuel pressure problem at this point, so we got to keep moving. Continuation on our lean condition. Again, before this vehicle came to us, had a new mass airflow put in it, new fuel pump. And uh, with, it running, with it running lean, with good fuel pressure, we focused on the mass airflow again, just doing a visual inspection, you know, making sure, you know, the arrow's pointing the right direction. I've seen people put these in backwards. And it is. And as we're looking at the air intake tube, what do you know, we see a crack in the air intake tube. And it, it was pretty bad when I took the air cleaner out. You can see it when I open it up. Surprisingly that we had 150 grams per second at wide open throttle on this vehicle, I would have expected this to be uh, a little bit a little bit lower uh, voltage or a little bit lower frequency which would have affected my grams per second reading but um, yeah it definitely needs an air intake tube. We're going to temporarily duct tape this and take it for a ride and see what our numbers look like on a test drive and see if we fix this vehicle or if I caused this problem when I pulled the air cleaner off and it was a small crack. I think I may have made it worse when I pulled the air cleaner off and kind of split it more than, than what it actually was, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna take care of it. Okay, this is the after shot of our test drive after temporarily fixing our crack in our air intake tube with duct tape. And what you notice right away on this is during this run where we were accelerating, so we hit wide open throttle right here, you notice that the O2, this is the bank one sensor one O2 is rich the whole time. Uh, the bank two sensor one is rich the whole time. And we're getting a peak grams per second number now of 197. So that 150 number I use for most vehicles, you know, it doesn't always apply. Uh, there are variables. This one hitting almost 200 grams per second. You see we had a, a clear increase in the airflow through this sensor um, as indicated by the fuel, the correct amount of fuel we're getting now. Um, looking at the O2 sensors is telling us that uh, that is a fix. This vehicle just had a cracked air intake tube.